Hi everybody, we're back with a new video and this one's kind of fun. We went to a place that is called Minnesota's largest candy store. And these guys have a bunch of claims to fame. It's this big giant yellow uh, domed, it looks like almost an old hollowed out uh, farm building maybe and it, a silo too and it's filled with candy and they say they have the world's biggest soda selection and the world's largest puzzle selection which I found kind of weird but no there really is a bunch of puzzles anyway uh, this place is like I said about 30 miles or so southwest of Minneapolis so if you are up in Minnesota maybe you're going to the Mall of America maybe you're coming to a Vikings game maybe you're doing something fun up here and you want to check out something fun to do if you get on 169 South, one of the big uh, arteries on the west side of the metro area. You can just take that down to Jordan, and then it's right on the right side. It's about, like I said, 30 miles south or so of the big cities uh, here in Minnesota. So anyway, we uh, we went and we bought a bunch of different things at the uh, the world or Minnesota. I can't want to say world's largest candy store. It's Minnesota's largest candy store. And a couple of things first that my wife got that we're going to share with you first. Um, this here is Margarita Cotton Candy. Now, one thing that I thought that was really cool about this place is they had a whole wall of cotton candy, different flavors, and I mean different flavors, so many different flavors. Um, and one of them, the one that lady grabbed, it's Margarita. So that one's kind of interesting. Uh, this here is something that I thought was kind of cool, and I'm definitely going to try because I'm a big iced tea guy. These are tea candies from leaf to cup to candy. Enjoy the cool and refreshing taste of iced tea and a delicious candy. These are just classic iced teas, so I assume they're, you know, normal, normal iced tea flavor. But about 40 pieces in that bag. Two ninety nine. That that's actually a pretty good deal for that place too. So, um, the uh, the cotton candy. Each of these, I think, were three bucks. I want to say or three ninety nine. There's no, there's no, um, there's no price tag on this. Um, the other thing that lady wanted me to show you guys is this is a pecan 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 log. I know the light doesn't do it justice here, but it's almost like. If you've had a salted nut roll, by the way, those are made in Minnesota as well. But these are uh, basically pecans um, around a bunch of nougat and creamy stuff. Um, yeah, so this is kind of cool. It's just a, a really nutty, tasty candy. So that's another thing that we got. Um, let's, what should we do? I got a big bag of stuff here, so. Uh, let's let's just go from the top down. Chips. They have a lot of different chips, different varieties. I was there looking for ketchup flavored chips because even though we're in Minnesota, we're so close to the Canadian border where they have, you know, at every gas station, grocery store, they have ketchup chips everywhere. And even Minnesota's own old old Dutch makes them for Canada, but they don't make them for Minnesota. So I was looking for ketchup flavored chips, couldn't find them. I got. These crab chips basically has Old Bay on them. And if you've ever had Old Bay seasoning, <laughs> Old Bay chips, this is going to go good with football tomorrow. All right, let's get into the next things here. Um, let's get into some of the just boring candy. I guess it's boring. You guys know what these are? Zots. Hard candy on the inside of these candies, it is a fizzy, weird, almost carbonated effect inside of these. Anybody that's never tried them before, it's always kind of a sensory awakening when you try these. These are watermelon, and for four candies, it's 49 cents. So actually, again, something that's not that bad when you're going to the Minnesota's largest candy store, you'd think a lot of the prices would be even more gouged, but really they weren't. Um, here's Cherry Zots, same thing. Uh, again, kind of fizzy, bubbly candy. I love them. Um, let's see what this is here. Um, oh, yeah. A cowtail. These cowtails, um, caramel, and then on the inside, there's like vanilla. 
uh, kind of a vanilla cream. Um, really good. 49 cents, pretty cheap. Um, my cotton candy. Of course. Peanut butter and jelly cotton candy. That is what I went with. So this definitely is, uh, is oh, this is going to be really good. Really weird because cotton candy and PBJ, does that go together? Well, I'm going to find out. Might taste test it on here, might not. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. What do you folks think? What, sh what should I taste test on video? You better hurry up and let me know because I'm not going to not try this stuff. Um, anybody know what these are? These are Stroop waffles. These are like a, a Scandinavian uh, caramel cookie. They're like wafers with caramel or maple syrup or honey between them. And they're usually really good with coffee. Uh, they're circular, kind of big, right? Okay. So the thing that I've seen people do with them is they'll take a Stroop waffle out and then put it on top of their coffee and the steam from the coffee actually heats the Stroop waffle up. So um, I've never tried that, but that's something I might have to try with these. So they're called Stroopies. This was $3.99 for one of these. Again, not bad um, for a place like a huge candy store that you think would be gouging prices. Um, you know what we'll do? We'll just, I'm going to take this out. We'll take some of this stuff out here. There we go. Sophie Mays Peanut Brittle Bar. Um, I don't know why this stood out to me. I'm a big peanut brittle guy anyway. And when I saw this bar, even though it's kind of broken and stuff, I'm thinking, oh man, holidays, I can't wait. So I wanted to try this just because it's a candy bar. Um, I have a feeling it's still the, pretty much the same thing. Only a buck twenty nine. Again, not horrible. Although I broke it in half. <laughs> Who knows what these are? Yep. Anybody that's my age knows that these are candy cigarettes. We'll we'll, we'll taste test this for you guys. I have a feeling I still remember these tastes like, oh, sure. These things are just a minty stick. They used to put a pink or an orange dab of, of food coloring on the end to make it look like a cigarette. And us cool kids back in the day would sit and smoke them. Oh, my gosh, you guys. You know what this tastes like? Oh, uh, it brings me back to those days where... Remember you had to stay home? When you were sick and you had a bellyache and, you know, you sat around and watched Price is Right. And, like, mom would make you watch some of her soap operas with her and all that kind of stuff. Well, this tastes like that Pepto-Bismol or those little Pepto-Bismol pink coins that you would have to eat to make the belly feel better. Minty, chalky, just like those. I wonder if it helps with gastrointestinal problems. Target candy. I wonder if they think that's cool. The Target company. Uh, not obviously affiliated with Target. So, yeah. Uh, candy cigarettes. Black cows, folks. I got a whole thing of these. They, they have a bunch of bulk um, canister things, you know, where you can you can get the... You know, you know any of the candies from back in the day. Well, I love black cow. It's a chocolate caramel, and uh, and I got a bunch of these. So those will be really good, I think too. Um, these are really weird. These are um, honeycomb peanuts. Okay, so they're if I remember from back in the day, you know, Grandma used to have them and things like that. They were kind of a soft, airy, peanutty outside, and then on the inside there's like peanut butter or something inside of it. Um, yeah, there's, there's peanut butter in them. So this is going to be a peanutty, yummy candy. They make these in-house, actually, too, which is kind of cool. Um, try not to just move it along. This I got from... This I got from Dallas. A little Pokemon Pez disp dispenser. A couple kinds of Pez. Of course, Pika. How cool is that? Pretty sweet. So, got Bob's little 
a little peek a deal trying to be a decent dad clove chewing gum <laughs> i like this stuff if you're around somebody who's chewing it it probably isn't the most pleasant thing in the world clove's kind of weird but this gum actually i love it 69 cents for a pack always if i see the red pack or even blackjack i'm not a big black liquors fan but there's something about blackjack too with these old beeman's gums i don't know if beeman still makes them it used to be beeman's yeah, I don't think Beeman's makes it anymore. It's called Garrett's Brands, but I think it used to be Beeman's that made it. Um, awesome stuff. Retro. Ah, ha! Zagnut. Okay, this is a crunchy peanut butter toasted coconut bar. Is there chocolate on it, too? I don't think there is. No, okay. The reason I bought this, people are going, what the hell are you buying this for? Okay, so this was the candy bar that John Candy and the kids um, in Great Outdoors, they go out to the bear, uh, like the bear dump, and they thought it'd be fun to lure the bears in by throwing candy bars at them. And so John Candy gets out of the SUV and he starts banging the, the uh, candy bars on the hood and he's going, da -da -da -da, and he goes, hey, got a Zagnut. And I thought he said Zagna, like not nut, Zagna. He's like, little Zagna, and he throws it out at him and whaps the, the, the bear right in the face. Anyway, make a long story longer. I saw it, and I'm like, ha I get to see what a Zagnut actually is. So I got a Zagnut, too. Okay, so uh, one more. Oh, this is not, this isn't very, this isn't very exciting. Um, just a Snickers Sweet and Salty. These were out for a while um, all over the place. I don't know if they're still in all the gas stations, but the Salty and Sweet ones are awesome. Uh, three bottles of soda I got. These will probably be videos. Yeah. Maple syrup soda. Of course, Lester back in the house. Uh, more Lester's fixing stuff. One more. This is Melba. I think that's his wife. This is Lester's wife. She makes coffee cake flavored soda. That's going to be really good. And then the last one, this one I'm not going to try on camera. This one was one that was cold, and I wish I would have drank it on the way home like I meant to. I'm going to have to probably throw it in the freezer quick. But this is called Ski. It's, I think, kind of a, a, a little more of a Mountain Dewish kind of a drink. It looks like it. It's got the green bottle, the kind of uh, cloudy, citrusy look. Uh, so, yeah, so I got a Ski um, soda, too. Erica got a couple of sodas. Um like some butter beer and some, you know, some of the Harry Potter stuff. She got some of that. But all in all, um, each of us spent like 35 bucks total. But this is the first and maybe one of the only times we're probably going to go. It was just crazy. Don't go on the weekend. I'm just going to tell you that right now. Um, if you go on the weekend, you're asking for it. I think if you go during the week, like some of the workers said, it's really uh, a lot more mellow and the shopping atmosphere is, is more conducive to actually looking around. Today, it was like a line that was consistently moving on a, on a conveyor belt almost. You had to keep moving or you'd get run over. And if you didn't, you'd get like, you know, uh, a, a basket in the back or something or a kid would slap you in the nether region and it just wouldn't be pretty. So anyway, um, what do you want to see me try on the video? Let me know um, in the next day or so and then I'll try some of this stuff. The, the two of the sodas are definitely going to be on. Uh, the Zagnut may be on there. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. But let me know. What do you want uh, me to try on the video here? Uh, coming up here from Minnesota's largest candy store. Hope you enjoyed our little unwrapping. Now we have some stuff to try. And hopefully you will enjoy it. Thanks, folks.